What's up, man? 25 Gamers. Welcome to today's run defense tutorial. Today we're going to be breaking down how to stop the inside zone run in Madden 25. This is a very popular run uh, among people who use like to use the Seattle Seahawks playbook. And uh, what we want to do is we want to check down to our nickel wide nine formation for this one. And we want to substitute in our two strongest linebackers at linebacker. Uh, for the Saints, we're going to be using Junior Gillette and uh, we're also going to be using uh, Will Smith and those two are two of the stronger linebackers. Um, another thing you can do to share up your rest of your nickel package is to share up your secondary with good tackling corners uh, and good hard hitting safeties uh, but that's up to you. You guys can uh, mess with that as much as you want and then again I'm going to recommend to put in uh, your two strongest defensive tackles at defensive tackle and then your two biggest and baddest dudes uh, down on the uh, defensive end that you can use to rush the passer and uh, really get after him that way. The play that we like to use to stop the run out of the nickel Y9 formation uh, is, is the sugar 2 strong safety fire in combination with the sugar blitz. So the sugar 2 safe safety fire is a zone version of this blitz. The sugar blitz is obviously a man version. They do different things and we're going to be breaking down uh, why they do different things. So what we want to do with both plays is we want to base align and pinch our linebackers. You see this is going to create a nice little cover uh, three shell here and we have pretty uh, pretty exotic coverage here from the defense. Now this is not going to do as good of a job at stop because these outside linemen are in the hook zones. If they were blitzing this would make this even more deadly but as you see they're in the hook zones and we will do decent but as you can see there's that potential that if we don't get that block shed we really don't have that plus one advantage. Um, now another thing I tried in a couple of videos or before this is to pass commit to stop the run. And you see it, it, it is a viable option. In my opinion it, it, it really is uh, one of the things that we need to try is is pass commit because when you pass commit your players are going to automatically go to wherever they're designated. And so your play is going to automatically be ran like it was on screen and you see we have a little bit better reaction. Another thing I might suggest you doing uh, with this uh, setup is to take the safety here, Mike Jenkins, is kind of moving down to the box a little bit. Uh, maybe even blitz Jordan off the edge, uh, just to kind of shore up that left edge that they're going to be running at. And you see, we, and of course, as soon as I do that, they get dotted before a touchdown. But anyways, guys, it's all concepts. But anyway, guys, uh, we've got the sugar blitz here, and uh, we like to use that as our quick audible down. Uh, and we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to base a line. We're going to pinch our linebackers, and then uh, we can pass him if we want to. But this is going to give us even more of a, a surefire way of stopping that run right up the middle. You see we're consistently holding this run down to you know two, three yards. And that's really good run defense uh, for this year. Another thing you might consider doing is crashing your line down, re-blitzing your linebackers, kind of sure up those blitz angles a little bit. But then it's just, it's just a lot of adjustments that I don't want to get into. I want to give guys simple tips that are effective. And so uh, for today, today's video, you want to stop the inside zone? Call the sugar blitz, pinch your linebackers, baseline, and pass commit. And uh, you should be stopping the inside zone. Uh, I like the ability to do it with this uh, very exotic cover two zone as well. And you see we've had some success, some failures with it. But obviously the, the, the man blitz is a little bit more uh, shored up. Another thing that you could do is you know call any play and just blitz your linebackers in the A-gap and pinch them down. And you see you're still going to get that same kind of sugar look. Uh, out of the nickel Y9. It may provide you with a little bit better run stop. Sometimes it may provide you, as we see here, with a little worse. But uh, by and large, I think the Sugar Blitz, um, the man version of this, uh, is very effective because of the stock blitz angles we get and the voids that they fill. And you see how good of a job they do at block shedding because you get those one on one matchups. What's your favorite way to stop the inside zone in Madden 25? Let me know if this video was beneficial. If it was, leave a like rating below. Uh, it just helps other people find the video. So uh, engage with me in the comments, and we'll talk a lot about uh, run defenses and different things you guys like, post different things I like. And uh, I'm going to talk a little bit more about run defenses as the time progresses because it seems like that's kind of the number one thing I keep getting told is people need run defense in Madden 25. So uh, thanks for your time. Again, I hope this video uh, had some benefit to you. And if it did not, please let me know what I could do to better benefit you in the future with my content. Thanks for your time.